got to quit messing with the water. You got to leave the wild things where they are. This is where life is. It's up here. These lakes are full of life. The water here is good. You can still drink the water up here. You know, if we're going to make the right thing, you got to protect the wild things because you can't recreate it. You know, a 915,000 barrel a day tar sands pipeline, the largest tar sands pipeline in the world, built through this where area, that makes no sense whatsoever. Didn't make any sense seven years ago and really makes no sense now. You know, it's not just our problem, it's everybody's problem. One of the things is that we actually need infrastructure for people, not for oil companies. The Department of Natural Resources gave the right of way across public lands, those are on it, right? Those are treaty lands and those are also the lands of the public. They gave away 630 million gallons of water, public water, to Enbridge, and it's a drought, you know? And that's not the, the only thing, is there's them, and then DNR also gave a bunch of water to off it. And so what we got is an ecosystem, and everybody around here knows that. Well, we have an ecosystem that's squished between industrial ag and a pipeline, and uh, we're not gonna let that happen. What a time to be alive, the revolution has come. I give you greetings and I introduce myself as Bear or Jim Bear Jacobs. I'm a member of the Turtle Clan. I'm a citizen of the Stockbridge Muncie Mohican Nation. We are gathered as a collection of multifaceted stories, varying belief. But one thing we hold in common that I think we all need to be conscious of is whether you're Christian, Jew, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, you are here right now in Minnesota practicing holding your belief on indigenous Anishinaabe land. Take a look around. I see signs that Methodists are here. We have Jews against line three, Muslims against line three. I know we have Buddhists here. We have Unitarian Universalists. We have UCC folks. We have humanity coming together to standing in solidarity with indigenous people to protect the water. So my name is Nish Nubi Ikwe and I was given the name at birth at Second Water Woman. We are of the oneness within my lineage mind. We believe we have an original agreement with Creator. And when we come down to Mother Earth, we'll come as a student, walk as a student, and we'll leave as a student. And we'll come and swim in the pure waters of our mother's womb for up to nine months while she builds this beautiful body around our spirit. and then. When we enter this planet, the first thing we do is what's that first thing that baby does before it cries? Takes that breath, air. So then they feel the warmth and that's fire. And then you nourish and you plant your feet on the short residence you have here on Mother Earth. You see everything in this planet are made up of those four elements. That's all what we are. Those trees are our relatives, this land, water, this connection. We cannot survive without one another. Those four elements show us no prejudice. And right now, this water is being disturbed. Our mother is being disturbed. I'm Nana, and this is Imam Safed Katovic. We will share some uh, messages from the Islamic tradition. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him, once said, Take care, protect, honor, be the guardian of the earth, for she is your mother. There is nothing that you do to her, on her, or for her, except that she will bear witness and testify before the Lord for or against you. In the Islamic tradition, we grew up with this hadith, which is the saying of the Prophet, that you respect your mother, your mother, your mother, then your father. If we have to respect our mother, Three times, how about our Mother Earth? As Brother Safed just uh, mentioned, this Earth is our mother. So we are here to give respect to our mother, to grand great grandmother said, this is our mother and we all meet her and she needs us right now. I'm Reverend Michael Malcolm and I count it an honor to be invited to engage in this fight with you. Now, I'm a UCC minister, and I'm also a product of the black church. This is my prayer today. Lord, hold the sun. In other words, I'm determined to stand up and fight. I need you to do what I can't do. Those of us who are, are gathered today are here to engage in a battle for planet and people. We are those who understand that climate justice is racial justice. We are those that believe that environmental justice is loving your neighbor. We are those of faith 
we are those of courage, and we are here to stand with our indigenous neighbors to fight for the right to live and thrive. Lord, hold the sun as we engage in battle. Do for us what we can't do. We're not asking you to fight the battle. We need you to handle the things that we can't handle. Move on the hearts of your people. Protect those on the front line. Give us words of wisdom to minister to those who are engaged in this fight for what's just and equitable, for what's right. This is my prayer in your name. Amen. My name is Rabbi Jessica Rosenberg. In Jewish tradition, we know that the earth and the waters were created before humans, and that is our honor to steward and protect and care for the earth and the water and the creatures and each other on it. In this coming year, when the Jewish New Year turns to 5782 on our calendar, it will be a Shemitah year, a year of release. We are taught that we work the land for six years, and then on the seventh, we rest and release and return the land. How many of you know what that means? Look around. How many of you know that it is incredibly messed up that all of you know what those four letters mean? Yes. Yes. The fact that this is such an epidemic problem that we don't even have to say the full words. We can abbreviate it. That's a problem. This fight is about the water, yes. It is about protecting the earth. It is about valuing people over profits. It is about future generations, but make no mistake, this is a fight about this generation as well. My name is Everlasting Wind. I'm of the Maingan Tutem, the Wolf Clan. My English name is Don Goodwin. It is my inherent responsibility to protect the environment and the people. So when I set out on this journey to protect the water, and the environment, I vowed to do all that I could do the weekend of January 19th, 2019. Resilient Indigenous Sisters Engaging. And that is what we did. We engaged with our community. We joined together with everybody to make this happen. There has been accidents here building a pipeline. So we worry about those ones that are already there. Now they want to put a tar sands pipeline here is impossible to clean, especially in wetland areas. There's very little study done on the effects to organism, living organisms from tar sands oil. Very little study. I do not want to be that laboratory. We don't want this to be the laboratory. There's also a calcareous fen near Gully that I just learned about is a very unique area, the Calcareous Fen. Enbridge, in their permits, water permits, asked for 510.5 million gallons of water to do their project. Now they are asking the DNR for 10 times that amount of water to finish this project. I'm Nancy Boleo, the Excite Minnesota Chippewa Tribe the Northern Organizer for Minnesota 350 and a co-founder of RISE Coalition. We recognize indigenous interests and its determination over imposed lands upon which our homesteads, cities, and suburbs have been built. Under these conditions, we defend treaties and support the sovereignty of tribal nations and their citizens. The land now known as Minnesota is the ancestral home of the Anishinaabe. Dakota and Ho-Chunk people. Through a nation-to-nation -nation process, the United States government and indigenous people entered into 16 treaties between 1837 and 1867. Deliberate corrupt policies and false promises were used to steal this land from their lands in an orchestrated genocide or practice our cultural traditions. Colonization continues to this day with the exploitation of natural resources such as mining, destruction of forests for timber, pollution of water, destruction of wetlands, endangerment of wild rice beds, 
and fisheries, like mines and pipelines. However, many colonial descendants are awakening to recognize their treaty obligations, not only to the original people of this land, but also to Mother Earth. My name is Deborah Topping, I'm from Fond du Lac. Can we teach people that to love the water and honor the water as much as we do? They say there's uh, 2,000 people here, so I'm hoping at least half of us can sing. Mm -hmm. 